Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neesh Kumar Singh and today we are talking about how to configure the columns in the Jira project. Of course, when it has been like some of the tutorials which you have been working on, you would have understood how exactly uh, active screen that is active sprint is being displayed to you. By default, we have two, three columns that is to do, in progress and done. But of course, in a real time project, you may have your own workflow to be utilized for a particular task to be processed and how exactly that can be done as a part of Jira project. Because of course, as I mentioned in the very first tutorial of the introduction, that is the Jira is a customizable tool. And of course it can be customized as per your need and expectation. So column of the backlogs can very well be customized at any point of time. So let's have a look today and understand how exactly the columns can be customized in Jira project. In this tutorial, we will be understanding how to configure columns when it comes to a scrum board in Jira project. As a part of previous tutorials, we have understood what are the different status which we give it to one of the work items or issue types in our project. At any point of time, you generally switch between these status to showcase the progress on the work item type which you work with as a part of the overall project execution. Now, it might be possible that some point of time that you need an additional step which is not present by default. And of course, as I mentioned earlier to you, that Jira is a customizable project and definitely allows you to customize it as per your needs. So in case you need any additional columns to be added here, what you see on the screen right now, other than to do in progress and done, which might be your internal standard to make sure that how you push a task from one status to another status definitely you are free to configure them on the scrum board so right now what you're looking at is a tin board which is tin stands for the testing in nutshell project name and you have a key for your project and what you are looking at right now is the active sprint section and as a part of that it basically shows you the scrum board the scrum board is shown to you because you have created a scrum project by default and of course if you go for the Kanban project then of course you'll have a Kanban board but yeah you can always configure a Kanban board as well but we will discuss that in our next tutorial. Let's quickly get started that how you can add more columns to your scrum board. All you have to do is access to the right side three dots here and click on that and move to the board settings. The board settings will allow you access to configure the board and of course now you can see that there is an option to drag and drop the board if you want to resequence some of the activities just by moving here and there you can align them according to your need plus you also find a delete button here in case you don't need a particular status which is present by default you can obviously delete them and remove that from your scrum board but what if you want to add something more to your columns of course you have a button here called as add column just click on that. For example, my project involves me to start working on certain projects. That is, the task will be initially determined with to do. When I start working on that, I give the status as in progress. And once it is done by me, I give it to someone to review it. So maybe I want to use a status which is in review. So now, whenever I push my task after completing my job, I push it to someone as a part of my team member to look at it and review the work. So of course, I would need an additional column to showcase that my work is now under review and click on add. Now you can see that there's a column created here with in review automatically after in progress. Now of course, it depends on your selection that what is that you selected before clicking on the add column. You can always rearrange them whenever you need it. What if I want another column? So let's create here, probably in test or testing. So of course my work will further, if it is a development piece of work would push into the testing. If not, then of course it will go into done. Now say add here. And yes, now the other column is also added. That is after review, it will move into testing or if it after testing, it could be going into done. So yes, of course, these are the things which you can actually create and you can include them. Even if you say that, what if after testing one of your manager or product owner reviews it? So you can turn the sequence around by just dragging and dropping, but just having a column of your choice. And I think uh, everything is not in the block, so I can always edit the details of anything which we have created already or we created it right now. For example here, I would like to change the case to proper. 
instead of just uppercase, I can have it something like this. I can just select it here and change the names or the case at any point of time. So you can always modify them as per your need. Well, so this is what we wanted to convey you by making you understand that how you can configure your board. Let's finally switch back to our active sprint this time and see that how exactly it has updated. So let's go back to the board and uh, have a look what kind of changes have taken place. Yes, now you can see that we have got five columns unlike previous. That is to do, in progress, in testing, in review, and then done. So yes, that's all what we wanted to cover as a part of this tutorial. Later, we will see that how we can add more status to our definitely the project and work item type. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to answer to your queries and respond to them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.